I'm glad that you asked me to come on third because I'm going to run over time, but I'm, we're bringing back up the game, don't worry about it. But I just felt I wanted to share. Um, my name is also my I'm a local author. Um, I've written the book Taffy How, which I shared about last time. If you're, if you're interested in knowing more, you can come and talk uh, to me about it uh, in the break, maybe. But I wanted to share about um, a film because I'm very much into films and theatre and novels and things like that. At the moment, I'm reading Gone with the Wind. It's a very big book, and I've, I've, you know, I've got halfway through it, so I'm really pleased with that. But um, when I watch films, as an author, you sort of look at the films differently. And I've seen this film before, and then I've seen it probably about two or three years ago, and I remember switching the channel and the film was on again, but it was nearly coming to an end, but it's just very dramatical. So I just wanted to share a little bit about it. I don't know if you've heard of the film The Keeper. Has anybody heard of that film, The Keeper? So basically, um, it was made in 2018. It's a British film, a uh, German biography uh, film directed by Marcus H. Rosenmeier, um, and it's starring a German actor, Daily Cross. So The Keeper is a true story of a uh, famed German English footballer, player Bert Truman. Anyone heard of uh, yes. Bert Truman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely fantastic. He was a star in about 1958. Yeah, yeah. yes. So it follows his journey from World War II, a German prisoner of war, in Northern England to goalkeeper in Manchester, for Manchester City. Oh, was it City? My mistake. Yeah, well, you know, he should do something about it. So basically, from the Hitler Youth and fighting against the British in World War II to breaking his neck um, in the FA Cup Finals, were you aware of that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he carried so, on playing, didn't he? Yeah, because basically he was playing. Um, and uh, he broke his neck. I don't think he realised he broke his neck, but he was in a lot of pain. And he kept on playing and won. <laughs> so, I mean, that absolutely incredible story. So, the incredible story of German goalkeeper Bert Truman is brought to life in the film. So, uh, so Truman was in, let me see if I can pronounce it properly, Lufua, uh, before coming a prisoner of war. He turned down uh, a return to Germany, settled in England, uh, fell in love, fought against uh, public backlash and eventually won an FA Cup uh, while playing with a broken neck. Um, so the film The Keeper dramatises his story and realities of his relationship with Margaret amid the tragic circumstances of his life. Um, it's an intense story of a man with integrity, courage and determination to witness certain things as he did when he was 18, as regards to Jews being mistreated, I'm saying that in a very subtle way. So, so there's a particular scene that just basically grabbed me. Um, there's a scene where one of the soldiers uh, shoots a little boy, he's running away, he shoots a little boy. Truman is there. And you can tell he wants to stop it from happening, but he doesn't, and the boy gets shot. So what's, what's happened now is um, Truman has a young son. He marries his sweetheart, and he has, has a young son. And when Truman is in hospital because of his broken neck, he's on the phone to his wife. I think the wife calls him, or he calls the wife. And they're in conversation, and the son is there uh, trying to get the, his mum's attention. And she's on the phone, he, the boy runs out, and all of a sudden you hear a car crash. So the, the Margaret, his wife, puts the phone down, and obviously goes and sees what happens. And Truman, he's like calling for his wife, but he heard the crash. So as he hears the crash, you can see, I don't know whether he's actually visualising, but he sees a child in the distance with a ball. The next minute the child's gone and the ball's just there, rolling. So he comes to the point that he thinks that something's happened to the boy. And what, in fact, what happens is, unfortunately, the boy dies. So you can imagine how it, you know, how it affects the, the couple, etc. And um, what happens is, <coughs> Truman believes, after some time, he shares with his wife what happened to the little boy when he was at war. 
and he believes it's his sin. And the wife's so angry saying, it's not only about you, it's not only about you, you know, so on and so forth. So um, they do go on to have two more children. But, you know, I just found that part of the film very touching, mainly because um, 2010, I lost a, a child, I lost my daughter in 2010. And every time I see a film where um, a child, uh, something happens to a child, something like that, it just grabs me uh, to see how the writer has come across with the actual scene. And there's another book, it's a children's book, where there's another scene in there. Um, I, I might share that with you another time. But it just grabs me, you sort of, uh, you can sort of see whether the, the app, whether the writer has actually got it right. Because sometimes you, I can watch a film where this happens and I can carry on eating my chips or drinking, but if the writer's got it right, it's like, wow. You know, it really just, it just really grabs me. Unfortunately, his wife never got over it. And, um, you know, she, it's just, it, it felt as though she was giving up living. Um, and um, unfortunately, eventually they divorced and then um, he remarried and, and uh, continued with his life. Um, uh, the wife passed on, I think it's uh, round about, oh, I can't, I haven't really got the date here, but she passed on before he did. Um, so, yeah, so basically I just really wanted to share that with you. There was something else that I was going to share now. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, so I'll just finish it off. Anyway, they have two more children, unfortunately, divorced in 1972, so Margaret didn't get over John. Um, she had no interest in life anymore, and, and this is what Truman said in 2010. And he remarried and spent the last few years of his life working to foster Anglo-German relations through football before dying in 2013. So I just really wanted to share that with you. And, and to share a poem, to share a poem about um, forgiveness, because um, obviously, you know, it affected the wife to the point that, it, you know, she must have found it difficult to forgive, you know, to forgive herself. Um, and uh, when I look at that situation, I feel totally blessed that I, I dealt with the situation that I went through in a different way, because I'm a woman of faith. So I dealt with it in a different way. And, it's, and I, I like to share about it because I feel like um, it is actually helping a lot of people, certain things that I share at certain times. Um, and because um, it happened around about Christmas time, uh, 2013. And sometimes, because uh, I do acting and so on and so forth, uh, I've, I've written a monologue about it, but I like to share that around about Christmas. And if nobody asks me, why did I write it? I never share. But the last time I shared about it, someone actually asked me, why did I share? And not only that, someone came up to me and said, I know what you're talking about, because it was on the news a lot as well in 2013. For about a whole week, it was on the national news about what happened. Um, so I share a, a poem, <laughs> you know, uh, to, uh, about forgiveness. This is very short by Jane Eyre. Since, we, since love alone makes it worthwhile to live, let all be now forgiven and forgive into a divine life. That's by Jane Eyre. And there's another poem here. It says, this is a good poem of forgiveness. In the depth of my soul, I beg forgiveness, for I know not the extent of the hurt I caused. For apologies falter, mare whispers in the wind, yet I bear them with sincerity, with a heart that bleeds. And this is the best quote of forgiveness. The weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. To forgive is the highest, most beautiful form of love. In return, you will receive untold peace and happiness. 